America is a land of vibrant cities and boundless opportunities, but also home to some of the most dangerous places. Today, we're peeling back the layers to explore the darker side of the United States as we count down the cities with the highest homicide rates. Get ready, what we uncover might surprise you. Hey everyone, it's Treclio. Today, we're taking a sobering look at some of America's most troubled cities. While the United States is often celebrated for its freedom and prosperity, it's important to recognize the challenges certain areas face. We'll be counting down the 10 cities where crime, especially violent crime, is alarmingly high. This isn't about spreading fear. It's about understanding the realities that many communities live with every day. Let's dive in. 10. Indianapolis, Indiana Indianapolis, known as the heartland of basketball and the home to iconic racing events like the Indy 500, is also grappling with a significant public safety crisis. The city's homicide rate of 17.7 per 100,000 people highlights the serious challenges it faces. Socioeconomic disparities, including concentrated poverty, unemployment, and a lack of economic opportunities, have fostered a climate of desperation and violence. These conditions disproportionately affect marginalized communities, exacerbating crime rates. The city's sprawling urban geography complicates policing efforts and community engagement, making it harder to maintain order and safety. Despite various initiatives such as community policing programs, investments in social services, and economic development strategies, Indianapolis continues to struggle with persistent violent crime. The city's ability to break this cycle and ensure a safer environment for its residents will require sustained and comprehensive efforts across multiple fronts, including better resource allocation, community empowerment, and improved law enforcement practices. 9. Kansas City, Missouri Kansas City, Missouri is celebrated for its world-class barbecue, but it also has the unfortunate distinction of a high violent crime rate. The city's homicide rate stands at 31.2 per 100,000 people, underscoring the severity of its public safety crisis. Gang-related violence, often linked to the illicit drug trade, remains a primary driver of these crimes. Historical racial tensions and economic disparities have only deepened these issues, contributing to entrenched social problems. Efforts to combat this violence include community-based programs, enhanced law enforcement initiatives, and economic development strategies. However, the complexity of these issues has hindered significant progress. Addressing the root causes of crime, such as poverty, inequality, and lack of opportunity, remains crucial for long-term improvements in public safety in Kansas City. A concerted effort to foster economic revitalization, coupled with strong community engagement, could be key to reducing violence and improving the quality of life for residents. 8. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland, Ohio, once a thriving industrial hub, has faced significant economic challenges, leading to a troubling rise in crime. The city's homicide rate of 33.7 per 100,000 people is a stark reminder of the difficulties it continues to confront. The decline of the manufacturing sector left a legacy of poverty, unemployment, and limited opportunities, particularly in certain neighborhoods, creating a cycle of crime and despair. The struggling economy has constrained resources for essential services such as policing, education, and social programs, which further exacerbates public safety concerns. While there have been efforts to revitalize Cleveland's economy through various initiatives, the impact of deindustrialization continues to loom large. To effectively address these deep-rooted problems, a holistic approach is necessary, one that includes significant investments in education, job training, community development, and more robust law enforcement strategies. 7. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Milwaukee, Wisconsin, known for its brewing industry, has seen a concerning increase in violent crime in recent years. The city's homicide rate of 20 per 100,000 people reflects the serious public safety issues it faces. 
Deep-seated economic inequality and historical racial tensions have led to significant social problems within the city. Milwaukee's segregated neighborhoods, where poverty is often concentrated, limit opportunities for many residents, fostering a cycle of crime and violence. In response, the city has implemented various community-based programs aimed at addressing these challenges. However, the scale of the problem requires a more comprehensive approach. This includes substantial investments in education, job training, and economic development, alongside effective and fair law enforcement practices. Breaking this cycle of violence in Milwaukee will depend on a sustained commitment to these strategies, as well as fostering greater community cohesion and resilience. Six, New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, a city renowned for its vibrant culture, music, and festive spirit, unfortunately, grapples with significant crime challenges. The city's high homicide rate of 40.6 per 100,000 people reflects the severity of its public safety crisis. Contributing factors include widespread poverty, unemployment, and a criminal justice system that struggles to keep pace with the challenges it faces. Geographic vulnerabilities, such as frequent hurricanes and flooding, have exacerbated social and economic disparities. These natural disasters often disrupt community life and economic stability, leading to increased crime in their aftermath. Although post-Katrina efforts have led to some improvements in infrastructure and economic revitalization, crime remains a persistent issue. The city's heavy reliance on tourism, while beneficial for the economy, also accentuates income inequality, contributing to social unrest and higher crime rates. For New Orleans to reduce its crime rates significantly, it will need to address both the economic disparities and the systemic issues within its justice system. 5. Birmingham, Alabama Birmingham, Alabama, a city with a rich history and cultural significance, also faces significant public safety challenges. The city's homicide rate of 29 per 100,000 people serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing struggle with crime. Deep-seated historical racial tensions and economic disparities have contributed to enduring social problems, which continue to impact the community. Efforts to address these issues through community programs and economic development have been met with mixed results. The city's persistent challenges in reducing crime rates can be attributed to the complex interplay of factors such as poverty, high unemployment, and a lack of economic opportunities. These conditions often lead to higher levels of crime, particularly in marginalized neighborhoods. For Birmingham to make significant progress, it will need to implement a holistic approach that includes social, economic, and educational reforms, along with strong community engagement and support for vulnerable populations. 4. Detroit, Michigan Detroit, once a thriving industrial powerhouse, has undergone significant economic decline, leading to a surge in crime. With a homicide rate of 39.7 per 100,000 people, Detroit remains one of the most dangerous cities in the nation. The city's challenges are deeply rooted in its economic history, with poverty, unemployment, and a lack of opportunities fueling a cycle of crime and despair in certain neighborhoods. The struggling economy has also limited resources for essential services, such as policing, education, and social programs, exacerbating the crime problem. While efforts to revitalize Detroit's economy are underway, such as investments in the downtown area and the auto industry, the legacy of deindustrialization continues to cast a long shadow over public safety. Addressing Detroit's crime issue requires not only economic revitalization, but also a comprehensive approach that includes improving education, expanding job opportunities, and rebuilding community trust. Three. Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, a city steeped in history, has long faced persistent challenges related to crime. With a homicide rate of 51.1 per 100,000 people, Baltimore ranks among the most dangerous cities in the United States. Contributing factors include widespread poverty, unemployment, and gang violence, which are deeply entrenched in certain parts of the city. 
Baltimore's aging infrastructure and significant economic disparities have hindered efforts at revitalization. Although various community-based programs and law enforcement initiatives have been implemented to curb crime, the complexity of the problem requires a broader, more comprehensive approach. Addressing the root causes of crime in Baltimore will necessitate systemic changes in economic policy, education, and housing, as well as sustained efforts to improve the city's criminal justice system and public safety strategies. 2. Memphis, Tennessee Memphis, Tennessee, known for its rich musical heritage, unfortunately holds the distinction of being one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. With a homicide rate of 43 per 100,000 people, Memphis is facing a significant public safety crisis. Key factors contributing to this crisis include high levels of poverty, unemployment, and economic inequality. The city's geographic challenges, including its sprawling urban layout, further complicate efforts in policing and community engagement. Despite initiatives aimed at reducing crime, such as increased community policing, economic development projects, and social services, Memphis continues to grapple with the complex interplay of factors driving crime. Creating a safer environment in Memphis will require a sustained, multifaceted approach that addresses both the immediate needs of public safety and the underlying socioeconomic issues contributing to crime. 1. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis, Missouri has one of the highest homicide rates in the United States, with a rate of 69.4 per 100,000 people. This alarming statistic reflects deep-rooted challenges such as poverty, unemployment, and racial segregation that have plagued the city for decades. The loss of manufacturing jobs has particularly impacted certain neighborhoods, creating environments where crime is more likely to thrive. The city's fragmented municipal structure with numerous small independent municipalities complicates coordinated efforts to reduce crime, making it difficult to implement effective policing and prevention strategies. Despite various efforts, including increased law enforcement and community-based initiatives, progress in reducing crime has been slow. St. Louis needs a sustained and comprehensive approach to tackle these issues, focusing on improving economic opportunities, education, and social services. By addressing the underlying causes of inequality and crime, the city can work towards creating safer, more inclusive communities that provide better opportunities for all its residents. Cities across the United States face significant challenges when it comes to safety, but it's important to remember that crime rates can vary widely within these urban areas. Not every neighborhood in these cities is dangerous, and conditions can change over time. If you're planning to visit or relocate, doing thorough research is key to understanding the specific dynamics of each area. While it's crucial to be aware of these issues, it's just as important to support the communities striving to overcome them. Many cities are making concerted efforts to improve safety and quality of life, and they need support to continue this progress. If you're interested in exploring more about where Americans might face challenges abroad, check out our video on the 10 countries where Americans are not welcome in 2024.